backward suction that you're hearing. <laughs> you're on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna show you the gold bowl. I did have to add a few things to it, like this screen here. Um, I had a one eighth inch screen and it was screening out really good but I was still getting pretty chunky rocks so I went with a 1 16th screen and you notice that my coffee can was completely full I've already ran this machine once and mostly to get the um, clay out of it and now I have a half a can of concentrates, a little less than half a can now because I ran it through a couple times. So I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to turn on the machine. You might want to stand up. And we'll probably need a light for that. But before I do, I wanted to give a shout out to Roger Wolf. Thank you for helping me out. Um, Marie, thanks for the um, help with the channel. Let's see who else. Um, the guys over at True Value for helping me find the parts and pieces to actually build this. And last but not least, uh, Mesa County Library and the librarian um, helped me not only get a card but helped me find some information about prospecting. A lot of it I already knew, but it's good to have a refresher and a couple books on how to do YouTube videos. Alright, so further ado, thank you guys. I'm going to turn this on. Thank you, YouTube. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It is kind of loud. I had to upgrade the um, pump. There we go. <laughs> We're going to let it build up speed a little bit. There are a couple different ways that I can do this, but for demonstration purposes, the nice thing about this is I can put the gold in or the concentrate in it. It'll start moving. It'll start moving. Yeah, see, all this. Here we go. What I'm doing right now is just watch, washing anything less than an eighth inch in. And you'll see this kind of ring happen. See the swirl pattern? And what's going to happen is you can kind of see that this this back funnel, this funnel right here, you can actually see the sand and the lights climb up of it, up it, and it kind of makes it look gray. So when you see that gray, that means that the sand and all the lightweight material is just getting caught in the vortex and going up, going over, and going down through 
the center underneath there I have a little funnel that goes into another one of these buckets so I won't lose any material and uh, yeah just want to say thank you to everybody that helped me with it and uh, thanks for YouTube and now I'm just gonna leave it I'm gonna run this through a couple more times and then I think the next we're going to build is a Miller's table. Thanks guys, appreciate ya. Like, subscribe, do all the buttons. Yeah, thanks.